Erica Sirwin here from Pink Buckery Designs, and I've got a fun 3D project for you today. It features the Hats Off bundle from Stampin' Up, one of my very favorite bundles from the new annual catalog. And when I saw this set, I knew I had to come up with some 3D projects. So what do we have? Big League Chew, of course. So a little box, I'm gonna show you how to make that. Um, you know, you could put all kinds of different things in here, but even I was thinking baseball cards would be cute. This would be great for a birthday party, a favor, or um, a summer party treat, or just maybe um, treats at the end of the season for your child's baseball team. Okay, let's get started with the holder. Now, all the measurements are over at my blog. Click the link here on YouTube. It'll take you to my Facebook Friday post where I did three projects with a hat, hats off bundle. And there's a free PDF under the last photo that shows all the prod, products that I'm using as well as the measurements. Now this piece is Knight of Navy and it measures 11 by seven. And we're gonna score the long side at two, two and three fourths, seven and a fourth, and eight. Turn it to the short side and score it at three fourths from both ends, which is three fourths and six and a fourth. Okay, now let's do some trimming. When we scored, here is how we scored it. This is the first score line. This side is smaller, so this is your lid. Okay, that will help you remember. And we're gonna take our scissors and cut down to the second score line and just cut those off, okay? Now do the same thing here and cut that off. Now down here for this tab in the middle, you're gonna cut those lines and then cut the corners off, okay? And do the same thing over here, cut the lines and cut the corners, all right? Now, before we assemble the box, I think I'm going to put on the pieces. Um, I'm going to glue on the two pieces that we need. And the top, this is the top right here. We're going to just put on a piece of Knight of Navy designer series paper. I love the, the color designer series paper packs. They come in handy when you're making projects and you need just the right color. All right. And the other piece is basic white. And I'm going to put that right here and I'm going to stamp some stars all over it. And I kind of stuck with a red, white, and blue theme. You know, you could change the colors to your team name, um, to, you know, the, the local, um, maybe the local, uh, professional team colors, whatever you want, whoever's getting it. Um, you know, maybe they have a favorite team, but I am in the mood for red, white, and blue. It's the start of the summer right now. And I'm just thinking about the 4th of July coming up. Okay, so let's see, a few more off the edges. There we go. All right now, I'm gonna put this right here. There we go. Okay, so now we wanna burnish all those lines. Let's see where my bone folder is, right here. Okay, using your bone folder will help you get nice and crisp lines and help your box look really sharp. All right, now we're gonna take these two right here, these two tabs, and put a little bit of Tombow on the outside of those tabs. Then fold up and into these longer sides. Okay, squeeze them, give them a few seconds to kind of take hold. And then we're gonna do the same thing here, but this time you're putting the glue on the inside of the tabs. Okay, now fold that up and over. It's kind of, wrapping around like that. Now, I didn't like these sides, so I decided to cut them off at an angle. So starting at the top and going down across to that corner. Okay. There we go. And there is your box. All right, now I only have one of those big chew 
gun. So let's put it in. And this is just your regular big league chew. And I folded it over. See how I folded the corners to make it a little nicer um, and so that my box wasn't too huge, okay? All right, now let's, we're gonna use a little magnet to hold it closed, but we've got to make that uh, decoration first. We're gonna put that magnet on the decoration. All right, we're gonna stamp our hat twice in basic red, <laughs> basic red. It's called real red on basic white. Let's stamp it once on basic white. Let's see, I think I'm gonna go this way and once on real red. This, I chose to do my hat with a white brim because it reminds me of my high school um, colors, my high school hat <laughs> that the baseball players would wear at my high school. All right, now we're gonna use Knight of Navy, which I have right over here, to put in on the little patch. And you can really do Lots of different things. If you're making this for your dad, you can use the dad patch. There's lots of choices um, that you could choose. There's even a few little mascot images that you could use as well. All right, let's bring over our cut mini cut and emboss machine. And we're gonna need the hat die. And then we're gonna use both the circle dies. And I'll show you why in just a second. Let's cut out our real red hat first and you want to make sure you can see those lines lining up here 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 and there because you kind of have to twist that hat to get it just right it takes a little bit of wiggling now we're going to just cut the brim off of the white one um, in a minute but we're going to go ahead and use our die to cut it all the way out Look at those stitch lines. Isn't that adorable? All right, now for this one. Let's line that up. And let's see if I can get both of these to sit on here. My uh, plates are a little bit warped from using them so much. So I think what I'm gonna do is just take a little piece of post-it tape and stick it right there to hold that in place. And then I'm gonna take the two circles. This one's gonna add your stitching and this one's gonna cut it out. So let's put that on there like that. And then this one right on top. And let's see if I can get those centered. There we go. Lay your plate down and cut. And this post-it tape is fantastic because it'll just peel right off of your paper without tearing it. And let's check out our little patch. How cute, I hope you guys can see the stitching on that. I love dies that do stitching. All right, so now I'm gonna cut this one off and I'm gonna stay right under that red line right there. Okay, just cut the brim off. Now, you don't have to do this. You could leave it just one color if you'd like, but I really wanted to have a two-colored hat. This hat just has so many possibilities. If you have kids that have been playing baseball, you can change your hats to match their colors, their uniforms, as they move up and their teams change. I love this set. When my daughter was playing softball, we would take treats for them um, at the end of the season, and this would make a great set <laughs> for, for little baseball treats. All right, now I have already cut out a star from our new metallic, let's see, let me give you the official name, gold metallic specialty paper. It comes gold and rose gold. All right, I'm gonna have, let's see, I'm gonna have that, let's do, let's do it like that, okay? And then I'm gonna take that hat, and put some dimensionals there and put it down like, and we wanna cover up our boo-boos. Let's do it like, let's do it over like that. There we go, no, I don't like that, like that. Okay, now 
um, for the magnet. I'm gonna have a link for these magnets over on my blog. They are from Amazon, they're awesome. They're, they're very inexpensive um, and they're very, very strong. Now I have found the best way to hold them on is Tombow, but it takes some time to dry. So for the sake of the video, we're gonna use glue dots. And glue dots work pretty good too if you use two on each side, okay? So I'm gonna grab two glue dots. And I'm gonna put that down right there. And then I'm gonna get two more glue dots and lay that right there. And then I'm gonna close my box. Let me look at the side, make sure I get it straight like that. Okay, and let's see if it's gonna hold. There we go. And squeeze that on on each side. Look at that, isn't that fantastic? Okay, one more thing, we need some linen thread. I know, I had to add a bow. If you think that you're giving these to boys and they don't want a bow, then just leave the bow off, but I really wanted to add a bow. And I'm gonna take some glue dots. And I'm actually gonna tuck this down kind of behind, so it's coming out from behind, like that. And there you have it, a Big League Chew treat box. All right, you guys, I hope you like this project. Uh, make sure you hop over to my blog to grab the PDF as well as check out the other two Hats Off projects. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.